Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today, back to another video. And today, we're going over top 10 updates that we need in Doodle World. So, let's get right into this thing. At number 10, I have raids. There's a game called Pokemon Go, which I think you guys are all well aware of. That you're allowed to do raids with friends, family, whoever from around the world and take down the boss. Imagine if you add this in the Doodle World servers, that can give you items, they can give you revives, they can give you ice cream pops, they can give you all these items and equipment. It can end up with a doodle. Like some of these doodles could be like special raid bosses. I feel it could be super fun for the Doodle World community to come together and take down the raid boss. At number 9, I have a mini map feature. Now, this would really help out new players as if you hit this mini map, it'll show a small map of the whole area. I feel like this would help people when they're lost. It could also help newer people for when a new area comes out. We could open up the mini map and we can see the whole trace of the area and not have to keep on asking people in the server. Where's Von Sweets? Where's Von Sweets? Where's Von Sweets? At number 8, I have a level up service. I feel like a level up service would really, really help because if I'm trying to play a story or if I'm offline, my duels could level up while I'm doing that. I feel like it would really help. Like Now you can make it like that one house that's in the Route 12 and I feel like that would be like really cool as I can have my duels level up while I'm not even like trying to level up with the bot battler because battling the bot battler five times just to get my duel to max level it's not really fun and it's not really worth it. At number 7, which is probably my favorite, is content creator plushies. If you think about this from a business perspective, this makes Wish money and it's going also make the content creators money. I feel like people that watch their favorite content creators would buy this and they could get like a special code for maybe like, I don't know, whatever they want. Like maybe a signature move on that content creator's doodle. I feel like this would like really, really help bring in Wish money. It would just be super cool to see as they could promote this over their YouTube channel. At number 6, I have a fan club war. Imagine it feels like Lewis fan club versus Squid fan club and you could pick a side and like whoever chained for the most doodles or whoever had the highest chain would like win that fan club war. I feel like it would be really cool as just like it will be like some friendly competition for the doodle world community. At number 5, I have a PvP club board. Back at Dual Co Academy, there's a PvP club that they only use for like one help center quest. And I feel like if they actually add this, like you could vote if you should buff or nerf a doodle. I feel like it would really help balance out PvP. And not have like some certain meta doodles that get an awakening, like <clears throat> screen. Like it would actually help balance out PvP and make ranked more fun. At number 4, I have a chaining leaderboard. I feel like a chain leaderboard would be really cool to see. Just how, like, you can see how big of a no life you are. You can also see how big of a no life other people are. Like, it's kind of like a no life leaderboard. I feel like I would, like, be on top of that leaderboard 24 7. And I feel like just also looking at it, like, maybe give someone a prize for being, like, top 100. Like, you have a ranked leaderboard. I feel like a chaining leaderboard would really help just so it bounces out if everyone's not good at PvP. Making our way into the top three, all of these go in like any order, so this is pretty controversial. At number three, I have in-game tournaments. I feel like ranked was a great addition of PvP. Like halfway through the season, it kind of falls bland for some people. And I feel like if you add in-game tournaments that are hosted like once every three days or something for a prize, it'll keep comp flowing and even like try introducing some people that only chain into PvP. Now with this being said, I'm not saying give them 10,000 gems every three days, but I mean like an exclusive skin for winning a tournament would help trading value go up and all around just make the game a little bit more fun. At number two, I have an in-game trade slash auction house. Now I feel like trading is super annoying because when I join Social Park trying to trade something, absolutely nobody's looking for it. My best bet's going to trade listings in the Dude World Discord. But if they make like a trade house that's like a part of Social Park or something, where if I put what I'm trading and what I'm looking for in return, and someone has that, I can automatically, like the game will automatically process that trade if the other person does it. So I can get their doodle and they get my doodle without having to like be online doing the trade. And those weird people that set up auctions and you know, doodle trade listings that are like super punchable, I feel like they could put up their own auction house and everyone puts in their bid. And then whoever has the best bid of, of their choosing wins that doodle. And I feel like that'll be like really like a lot better. Just keep on spamming it like for a week. Like you'll see it every five minutes until it's finally done. And it stops flooding the trade listings chat in Discord. Now, number one, I've been saying this for about eight months now. It's 2v2s. Now you guys might be saying, well, we already have 2v2s, there's doubles. No, I'm talking about two people versus another two people. I don't care how it's formatted. 
but being able to do this would open up so many opportunities for collabs, would open up opportunities to play with your friends more, and also open up opportunities for tournaments. All these things are great for Doodle World, I feel like there could be like a different meta strategy, like if you're both of all have six doodles, a whole new meta could be created. I feel it could be tons of fun for the PvP Doodle World, and especially for Ranked if that ever happens. That basically wraps up this video, and I put a ton of time into this, so any support is appreciated. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.